Hey everybody, this is Bloody Hatchets and welcome back to another tutorial. This one I'll be showing you how you can make this very simple but real nice looking forklift. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rebuild it right over there. This is going to be like the garage area. Kind of like a storage where they park them at. Alright, so the first layer that we're going to do guys is with the tires. Now I'm going to be facing it that direction so keep that in mind. So this will be the back tire and this will be the other back tire. Let me just move it over here so I got more room on this side. So these are the two back tires and you're going to skip two blocks here and put the front tires just like that. Now go ahead and put your stone buttons on these tires just like so. And for the front, we're going to put an upside down cobblestone stair. And for the back, we're going to do the same thing. Now, what we're going to do, guys, for the back here, we're going to do upside down stair. And then we're going to do one like this. So to have that kind of shape there. So again, upside down stair up against the back tire. And then like this on the front tire. Now, right here, what we're going to do is we're going to do upside down stair right there and that will make a little shape a little bit more detail from the side all right now the next layer we're going to go to the back right here and we're going to go ahead and place a furnace now on that we're going to crotch place a ladder and now we're going to go ahead and take a yellow block of choice i'm using yellow concrete and just kind of go around it like this right here now go ahead and put your redstone torches on the back. You could also put stone buttons or regular wood buttons on there. It's all up to you. And right here, I like to put a iron pressure plate here and here. And right here, I always like to put a flower pot for the exhaust. All right, so right here, we're going to go ahead and put an iron trap door here, iron trap door there, and choose a seat so I'm going to be using the dark oak wood stairs for the seat there and across the front we're just going to go ahead and put the yellow blocks just like that and once you have that go ahead and take your signs and place them like this and do that on the other side as well all right now for the next layer what we're going to do is take your fence of choice I'm going to be using another brick and I'm going to place one right here and one right here and now I'm going to go ahead and put some string right here right here over the seat right here left of the seat and right here on this side of the seat as well and now once you've done that go ahead and get your uh, carpet I'm going to be using the gray carpet and I'm going to place on top of this here so you should have something like this alright now go ahead and get your cobblestone wall and come up to just like so and yeah I'm gonna have to probably raise this up right here so I'll do that later all later on off camera so I kind of underestimated this roof anyway I'll take care of that later so this right here on top of the cobblestone wall we're gonna put iron trap doors just like that and go ahead and put your yellow block right here and right here uh, I like using a stone button now this represents like a light a spotlight you can put a, a torch on there or whatever. And now let's go ahead and do the forks on the front. And there's some stuff that I kind of want to explain with that. Alright, now with the forks, what I was saying is you could always put like boxes. I used brown choker box for this. So let me just go ahead and take off these boxes here. And I'll, I've seen a lot of people how they make their forklifts is what they do is they place string down and then what they do from there is just go ahead and put the carpet over that 
Now that is fine, but my design, I like to um, use the iron trap doors. So using that technique, if you take the iron trap doors and come across like this, that looks fine just like that. But I always like to put the gray carpet on top of that to give it a little bit better look to it. It's all up to you guys. Now you could have this at any level. You could have these forks coming up higher up, like up here or maybe up here. It's all up to you guys. I think I'm going to raise these forks right here because it's unloading this truck right over there, which if you like this truck, I might do a tutorial on it. Just kind of threw it together. But just let me know down below. But yeah, with these forks, I'm going to raise these ones up. So you can do a lot with the forks. So I'm just going to go right over here. Now, see this one's being in storage. So I'm going to put the forks all the way on the ground. Now, if you do that, you won't be able to put your carpet on top of that. So I guess what I'll do is just put the forks right here. And that way I can put the carpet on there. Like I said, you can do a lot with the forks, different variations with it. But there you go. There's your uh, forklift. If you did like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.